Okay, so here's your kitchen egg professional. Oh, that's the uh, professional. Basically, she overloaded it. And she knows exactly what she did. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this screw off here. And we're going to take this cover off here. And we're going to take these four screws off the sides. Once we get the four screws off the sides, of course, it should just pop off. We may have to wiggle a little bit, but it should just come right off. Okay, so once we take the screws off, we'll pull the top right off, like so. And then we have to take the cover off this and get in here and look and see which gears uh, got roasted, toasted, busted, overloaded. And then uh, we order the part and then put it back on. You'll probably have to have a, a C ring uh, wrench to pull the C ring off the top of the shaft here. We'll take a look. Okay, so once we get the top of the gearbox off, we can look and see which gears ate it. You can see this gear here is toasted. So it was used, uh, overused by this attachment end here. So that, that piece there should just pop out. So there's a one piece there that we need to replace. And then this one here took quite a bit of beating. Um, now luckily I do have this one, this part here in stock. It's, it's actually not too bad. We've got, what we've got is the metal from this one in here in these grooves. Yeah, it, it's a little beat up. This one has to be replaced. Yeah, so we know need both gears on this one. And I'll have to order the parts. And basically on this one here, we have to take the C-clip off here. That seat clip has to come off and then you can pry this gear up. And so, once we pry that gear up, um, we can put another one on. And so yeah, this, this gear, it's not real bad, but it does have a couple little nicks in it that's not gonna work for it too well. Uh, since we got this thing apart, we're gonna do the best we can for it. And then this gear here, that gear there looks pretty good and so yep that's what we need like i said there's a c-clip here once you get that c-clip off you've got to pull it up over the shaft and this will slide up and then you can take that off this gear here is separate from the shaft so this gear will come up and then we can put another one on that then we have to order that one and here's a little disclaimer for you do not try this at home. This video is for informational purposes. Consult your local professional.